Hey everyone, I really, really hope that everybody had a fantastic holiday. Um, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, either way, I hope that you're doing fabulous. Um, so we have been talking about why you should heal your digestive system. I mean, we've been doing it through, I guess, like I like to call it, like a, like a four-part series. <laughs> um, and so the first part, or the very first video we talked about and we touched on, um, the relationship or the connection that your digestive system has on the rest of your body. And how, um, and I really emphasized the, um, the way or the how of your all, you know, when one system is out of balance, then all systems are out of balance. And when all systems are out of balance, that's when disease and illness actually starts to prevent, um, to present itself. Then last week we talked about um, your feelings and how your feelings um, should be a contributing factor to answering this question of why you should heal your digestive system. And so then we talked about, you know, the way that you feel um, and how you want to change how you feel is directly related to your digestive system. And that your, you know, your feelings are stemmed because, you know, something is happening, you know, within your body and you don't want to feel, you know, the frustration and the embarrassment, the pain, the anger, um, there may be, you know, like some, some um, shame maybe in there, right? Like it really depends and it really varies, you know, from person to person as far as, you know, what they're feeling, but, you know, Regardless, your feelings then result into answering this question of why you should heal your digestive system. So then this week, uh, we are going to talk about your symptoms. And so you might be thinking to yourself, that's a little confusing, uh, you know, when you talk about symptoms before you talk about your feelings. Um, and yeah, you might, but for my question, or for my reasoning behind this, is that your symptoms are the precursor to how you feel, yes but your feelings are typically what gets people or gets you to actually take action, right? Because if you think about it, like you, you, your, your, your feelings have a lot of meaning behind them and they have a lot of um, energy, right? Like they get you to be like, you know what? I'm so sick and tired of feeling this way, right? Like you're like, ah, I want, I want something to change. Like, and, and the change is, I don't wanna feel this way anymore. So that's why we talked about feelings first, is because I think that feelings is, is, is a top motivator for people, you know, to really start to develop um, the want and the need to start healing their digestive system. So then now we're gonna talk about the precursor to that because they're just as important and they're just, um, just as important to understand, um, you know, where they're coming from. So, that's kind of the relationship or, you know, kind of how we're going to lay it out. Um, so these symptoms, I've been talking about them over and over and over. And I just would like to say that um, just because, you know, I say a certain, you know, certain list of symptoms doesn't mean that you have to feel or you have to experience all of them. It doesn't even mean that you have to experience any of them. And the reason that I say this is, is because it goes back to the very first video about understanding the connection between all of your body sy systems and how, you know, because they're so, you know, so different and it really just depends on the level of imbalance that you have and the way that your body is compensating for it, that's really going to determine whether, you know, what specific um, symptoms you're going to be feeling. So when I say, you know, you know, vaginal yeast infections or constipation or anxiety or depression or skin rashes or low sex drive, those are just merely possibilities. There are like a vast, just a vastness to like the, the types or the amount of symptoms that you could be feeling. Um, and so with with that knowledge or with the understanding that you know everybody's going to have different symptoms and the symptoms that you might be feeling um, or the severity you might be feeling of them are going to be different and that's because we are different people and we have different biologies and we have different lives and different lifestyles and you know like the reason as to why our digestive system got out of balance in the first place is different typically so your symptoms are then going to be different right it only it just only makes sense but regardless you have these symptoms and so these symptoms are things that you should be questioning 
So the very, you know, it's the same idea or the same concept when we were talking about last week about your feelings. And I said, um, you know, to really start questioning and really start analyzing, you know, where and how and why you are feeling these, these, these feelings, right? Why you're feeling frustrated and embarrassed and angry and shameful and all of these feelings, where are they coming from and how, you know, what can you do about it? We're going to bring that same exact concept into dealing with your symptoms. Um, But we're going to do it slightly different, especially because symptoms are things that we don't necessarily think are there. We don't even necessarily think that they're symptoms. So then that can even go back to when I was talking about, you know, that list and you're like, oh, I don't have that or I don't have that. You may not think that you have it because you haven't actually identified yourself with it. You might be feeling it or you might be experiencing it, but you haven't named it. And this is very common. I mean, I dealt with this myself. So to give you an example of, you know, what I'm talking about, I mean, what I mean by like identifying things is uh, brain fog. So brain fog is something that I experienced and I didn't realize I was experiencing it until after, you know, I started realizing that there was something wrong with my digestive system and I really wanted to change it. Um, And then I started, you know, doing, you know, some research on it and I was just like, wow, like I do have this, like this is what I've been feeling. And I didn't realize that I was been, you know, like I've been feeling this or that this is a symptom at all so brain fog is when you have like this lack of concentration almost it's almost like an ADD or ADHD style right like you have this complete difficulty you know focusing on one thing at a time you also feel like a zombie I mean you really do like you like your entire day almost feels like a blur like you just woke up and somehow you're now in bed you know to to lay down for the night and you just have no idea you know what happened in the middle um and it you know can also be you know having a hard time um recalling memories or recalling things that you were supposed to do so maybe you told your mom that you were going to call her back and you know the next day and you know it's the next day and you didn't call her back and she calls you and she's like oh why didn't you call me and you're like oh i I forgot like I didn't even I don't even remember our conversation saying that I was going to call you back right so these are all things that are related to this like umbrella term that we that we coined brain fog um so I had all of those things I was like wow like yeah like that's what I had but I didn't realize that that was like a symptom nor did I even realize that it was a thing like I didn't you know I didn't know anything about brain fog for many years Um, But the minute that I started, you know, like um, developing an identity towards it or I started questioning, you know, the symptoms or, you know, questioning if I even had symptoms is really when I started, you know, like all of these symptoms kept popping up. And I was like, yeah, like I do have that and I do have that and this and that. Right. So that's what I mean when I say we really should start questioning these symptoms and we really should start putting um, a label and an identifier on them so we can start to um, move, move towards a way or move towards a feeling, right? Move towards those feelings um, and then take, take action within those feelings as well. But I think there's, there's definitely a source of empowerment of really understanding um, you know, where and why these symptoms are even arising in the first place. Um, There's just, there's just something behind it to kind of know like, wow, like this is what's happening. This is why it's happening. I can actually do something about it now, right? Like as as soon as I kind of realized that I had brain fog and I, you know, and I, you know, started doing all this research and this questioning and this identifying and this self-awareness and reflection, I was like, I can actually do something about this now. Like I don't have to accept that, you know, feeling like a zombie throughout my day and, you know, you know, having a difficulty concentrating and having the, you know, yeast infections and constipation and all of that, like that did not have to be a part of my reality. And so that's when I, you know, started to take, you know, like no, you know, no as, as a no. Like I was like, I can't, I can't accept no is really, I guess what I should have said is that I wasn't accepting it. I No was not an answer for me. Um, after I really started doing, you know, this, this development process of understanding the connection between all of my body systems, 
understanding how my feelings are directly related to taking action and directly directly related to um, you know understanding why my digestive system is out of balance and why I should actually take action towards it and then you know really coming to terms and you know understanding you know my symptoms and where they're coming from and why they're coming from where they're coming from right which relates back to video one with the connection so it, it was it, it definitely was an empowerment move you know by far um, and that you know doing all of this research um, you know, and really digging deep um, into these symptoms was exhausting. Um, and and I really don't wish that on anybody to, you know, do extensive research on it um, because it, it really can make you feel even more confused and even more um, frustrated and, uh, you know, really doubtful, you know, that something could, you know, that you can actually heal yourself. Um, and this is mainly due to the fact that I mean, we have the internet, and the internet can literally give you millions of answers and millions of possibilities, you know, to the question that you've you've entered into into Google. And so, with that, like there, you know, there are so many varying opinions, and there's researches on those opinions, and you know, there's the research, you know, here and the research there, you know, very much contradict each other. And so you're like, well, what the heck? What's the right way? You know, how should I actually treat these symptoms? Um, it can get very overwhelming. So that's kind of why I'm here. Um, is that when I've and when I really developed my my journey for myself and you know this this healing journey, um, I really you know kept thinking to myself the entire time like I really wish that I had somebody here, almost like holding my hand and you know being my little cheerleader on the side and being like you know what like I got this like I can do this because through through you know through this 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 process that you know you, you might already be encountering or that you are thinking about encountering um, there's going to be highs and there's going to be lows and through those lows you have to learn you know techniques and tools and you have to have a certain level of support and guidance to you know pick yourself back up to get to those highs again um, and you know when people fall into those lows when they're making lifestyle changes um, that's usually where they get stuck. That's usually where it stops. That's usually where they're like, you know what, I'm self-defeating. Um, this is this is dumb. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I know healing is just not gonna be, you know, for me. You know, all of these things do arise. And I know that they arise because I felt them. I've experienced them. I was there. I mean, I, I gave up multiple times before I ever actually got to the point where I'm at now. So just as like a little extended, you know, reasoning as to why I do what I do um, is that it really is meant to be everything that I wish I had during this healing journey because going at it alone and doing this all on your own, it takes so much longer and it takes so much more frustration and shame and anger and confusion I mean my feelings were all over the place I had highs and lows all the time and I didn't know how to deal with it and it took me years to actually deal with it fully so I don't want that for you I don't want that for anybody um, if I can help it so kind of going back to your symptoms um, they're they're just super important to to start recognizing and start taking note of start identifying them um, do this in a journal, like how I said, you know, in, um, in last week's when we were talking about your feelings and questioning them. Start writing, you know, writing about them, you know, like um, asking yourself if this vaginal yeast infection, you know, is a symptom or not of, you know, a digestive imbalance or if it's just something else. Like really getting a grip um, and really getting in control and, you know, fully understanding you know, if these symptoms are a part of this or if they're not. And if they're not, is there any possibility that they may be connected in some way? And if so, and if you have any, you know, shedding light that, you know, you may think that it's connected in some way, you're probably right. Because yet again, all of your systems are connected. And that when one is out of balance, they're all out of balance. Um, and so that's super, super important to note. And you will probably be hearing me say it over and over and over and over again 
because it is just so vital. It is so vital to understand that concept. Um, because in modern medicine, we really tend to, you know, isolate the body. We isolate problems. You know, we isolate the symptoms or we treat just the symptoms and, you know, not the source of the symptoms or, you know, not connecting that the body is connected. Um, so that's, that's another reason why I, I consider myself a holistic health coach um, is that I don't look at just one area. Um, it's, it's all areas that are connected. So learn about the connection that all of your body has, start identifying those feelings and questioning them, and then start labeling and um, questioning as well or identifying um, all of your symptoms and whether or not they're related to digestive health or not. So next week is the last uh, like little segment towards answering the question of why you should heal your digestive system. And it's going to be a little bit more on a positive note because we're going to be talking about the outcomes that you want and how the outcomes that you want really should be your last motivating factor um, or contributor to you know, why you should you know, get your butt in gear and start healing your digestive system. So I'm super excited you know, to start sharing that knowledge with you. Um, as always, please reach out to me, message me, comment. Um, the link to you know scheduling a free consultation with me as well is going to be in the um, be in this post. So you know use that as well. I apologize for this darkness that just kind of came over um, the lighting, you know. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, please please reach out to me. Um, that's what I'm here for. Um, I'm really here to get to you to the place where I'm here, you know where I'm at now. But I'm there to get it get you to it much quicker and with less uh, pain, with less of, you know, less of a heartache and less of frustration. Um, so I will see you next week and um, comment below if you have any questions or concerns. All right, bye.